Dance just allows you to forget about everything. You have to focus on so much that you don't really have time to think about anything else. I remember at the end of every show, my mum, she would like give me a big hug and tell me how like, well I did. Hannah was a, a brilliant mum. She loved Emily to pieces. We'd always be there at the dance shows. We'd almost fill up a whole row with family and friends. She was just so proud of Emily and what she was achieving. It was 2017, October, just like a normal morning driving to work with Hannah. And then a car came around the corner on the wrong side of the road that lost control and hit us head on. I was in a science lesson and one of the ladies that worked at the office came in um, and she like asked me to come out. She said, she said that I needed to bring my stuff. And I could tell that like something was off, like everything just felt really weird. I was taken to hospital. I had broke my back in a couple of places. I dislocated a knee, dislocated an ankle. And I think around 10 o'clock in the morning, the doctor came in and I was told that Hannah had passed away. I just remember thinking, like, how could this happen, like, to me? I've done nothing wrong. Why is, like, my mum, like, I'm 11, I should be able to have my mum here. I remember having dreams that she was still alive and I thought, like, oh, I'll wake up and, like, it would just be, like, a bad dream. I was, like, crying, like, every single day. But I think the main thing was, like, guilt because in the morning, I, can't, I, can't, I still can't remember now if I said love you to her, if I said bye. She wasn't the same Amelie. She wasn't the same bubbly, funny, happy, cheerful little girl that she was beforehand. I just knew that things weren't right and that she needed some sort of help more than I could provide her. Because of your donations, Amelie met Sandra from a wonderful charity called Mosaic who helped bereaved children. It's important for children to talk about their grief so that they can process the emotions that they are feeling. Know that it's okay to be sad some days and it's okay to be happy. Just a little conversation goes a long way. I think if I hadn't been able to see Sandra, I would have been even worse now because obviously it's always going to be sad, but I can think about more positive things about her and not always have to remember like the bad stuff. We could just sort of speak about Hannah and remember her for the fun times, the happy times and the really nice times. And thanks to your continued support, Sandra was able to be there for Emily again when her nan died suddenly last year. I mean, my nan was like another amazing person in my life. So when she died, I just sort of remember thinking just like a lot was going on and I didn't know how to deal with all of it. I think again, Sandra really helped her. She's happier, she's brighter, she's back to her normal self. She's just so lovely, I'm just so proud of her in every single way. Emily's growing up to be the girl that Hannah wanted her to be.